So, in this question, we have to find out the square root of 7 minus 24i. So, how we can solve this type of question as we know that this one is a complex number. So, the solution of this one is, let us take square root of 7 minus 24i as x plus i y. Okay? Now, we have to square both the sides. So, squaring both the sides. Squaring both the sides, we get as 7 minus 24i is equals to x plus i y whole square. And now, what we get is, we have to just split this one, x plus i y whole square. What do we know about it is 7 minus 24i is equals to x square plus i square y square plus 2xyi which is equals to 7 minus 24i is equals to x square minus y square plus 2xyi. Comparing both the sides we get Comparing both the sides, we get it as 7 is equals to x square minus y square. This one is our one equation. And next equation is minus 24 equals to 2xy. This one is the second equation. So let us take x square equals to a and y square equals to b. So we know that a plus b whole square is equals to a minus b whole square plus 4ab which can be written as as we have taken a as x square and b as y square so we can write it like that x square plus y square whole square is equals to x square minus y square whole square plus as we can write it as a equals to x square and b equals to y square so 4x square y square and now what we get is x square plus y square whole square is equals to we know that the value of x square minus y square is 7 so we can put the value here 7 whole square plus and we know the value of 2xy so we can write it as 2xy whole square so x square plus y square whole square is equals to 49 plus minus 24 whole square which can be written as x square plus y square whole square which is equals to 49 plus 576 and we get is x square plus y square whole square equals to 625 so the value of x square plus y square is 25 this one is our third equation and by comparing equation 1 and equation 2 we can get is we can add these two equations by adding these two equations what we get x square minus y square plus x square plus y square equals to 7 plus 25 so we can cut y square and y square 2x square is equals to 32 and x is equals to 16 or we can say sorry x square is equals to 16 or x you can say it is plus minus 4 now we get the value of x here so putting the value of x square we will put the value of x square putting x square value in equation 1 we get 16 minus y squared equals to 7 or y squared equals to 9 or y equals to plus minus 3. So here we get the value of x also and the value of y also. So one thing to note here is that if x into y is negative then it will have the different values or the different signs. If the value of x and y, x multiply y is negative, then they will have the different sign. But if they are positive, if the sign of multiplication of x and y is positive, then we have the same sign. That's why 
here we can say that z is equals to 4 minus 3i or minus 4 plus 3i. So this one is the answer of this question.